thingies, whatever these are called. She got some spacey vibes. I can't believe that you're not here long. Happy as hell, ain't done, moved on. But he's a banker down in Austin. I thought you always hated. <sighs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Jessica, and I think it was time for me to address this. I really don't know when I'm going to be posting this video, but I know that there have been quite a few people up in my DMs lately. Um, not even like guys, just a bunch of females wanting to know the tea between my husband and I. Y'all are nosy, <laughs> um, but I, I get it. I understand I'm nosy too. I know like there have been vibes out things said and everybody just wants to know like the scoop you know so i'm here to s tell it <laughs> like i i hate to say spill the tea because it sounds like it's just like not a big deal when this is like a huge deal right now but i'm here to just like be upfront and honest and just Kind of let y'all know what's going on right now right now i'm still in my what was my crafts room filming this pj is out of town right now he um is in colorado um and i am here to pick up some stuff and to get my dog but basically i don't live here anymore i moved out i live with my uh best friend and we live in a little barn apartment. I moved out on Christmas, officially, but we had been having problems previous to Christmas. Honestly, we've been having problems throughout our whole relationship and our whole marriage. And, you know, I know like y'all all know, we were very like open about what happened to us last summer, last year. Um, when we got married and then right after we got married we separated for the summer um, we weren't together and we've been we got back together we tried to make it work for a year and we've had some really great times and we've had some really great memories if i'm emotional i'm so sorry <laughs> like it just sucks you know it's sad but we've also had some not great times and I think a lot of stuff that has happened in our past um, affected our relationship now. Just things that we couldn't necessarily get over. There was a lot of trust issues. There was a lot of uh, lies, deceiving, um, a lot of like disrespect. Um, just things that like you shouldn't have in a relationship or a marriage. I'm not perfect. PJ's not perfect. And I'm tired of trying to make it sound like one of us is better than the other when it's not. We both suck. We both sucked in our relationship. And I did some shitty things and he did some shitty things. And at the end of the day, those shitty things just kept piling up and piling up to where it got to a point where you can't, we couldn't get over it. We can't, we can't move past that. And if we keep doing these shitty things to each other, this isn't really a marriage and this isn't really a relationship that neither one of us want to be a part of. I know that I deserve happiness. I know that I deserve somebody who you know, understands me and, and my personality and he deserves the, the same. He deserves happiness. He's wonderful and he's great and he's... Like, he deserves the world. But... So do I. And... 
we were just lacking on giving each other what we needed. I think from the beginning, we've always had like a hard time with our relationship with the whole age gap, you know, like I met him when I was 17 and he was 26. But from then on out, like we've just always had issues. It did like, it was just always something. Um, and it just, it was hard. It was so hard, but we try to like make it through. We try to make it work because we loved each other. I still love him. I'll always love him. That's such a stupid girly cliche thing to say, but he will, he's my husband. He will, I married him. And once upon a time, we thought each other, we thought we were going to be in each other's lives forever. He's done so much for me. He has helped me realize things about myself that I don't know if I would have realized before. He has helped me through a lot of struggles, him and his family. Um, and I'm forever grateful for him and I'm forever grateful for them. And besides what everyone is saying or their assumptions about what's going on in our relationship, nobody really knows the whole death and truth other than PJ and I. Anyways, we both decided that it was time for us to move on with our lives. We don't hate each other, we're civil. Today is actually the day that we got engaged three years ago and he's in Colorado right now and I texted him telling him, you know, that I wish the best for him and all this stuff. And he told me the same. He wishes the best for me. He was a huge part of my life. I don't regret anything. We were not happy with each other for a long time. We haven't been in love for a long time. We haven't, we don't put each other first. You know, he has his priorities that are above me and I have priorities that are above him. And we don't make each other number one and like, that's what you're supposed to do when you have a spouse. You are supposed to make that person your number one, you know, and we don't. He would rather do things with his friends and his family, and I would rather do things with my friends and my family. And, you know, to an extent, it was okay, but it got to be a lot, I think, for both of us because it was like we both wanted to spend time with each other, but neither one of us wanted to give up <laughs> those priorities, if that makes any sense. I feel like him and I brought something out of each other that wasn't necessarily the best version of ourselves, if that makes sense. And that doesn't take away all the great times we've had together. Or all the... <laughs> or all the times that we've like... <laughs> I don't even know what I was gonna say. Um, I'm crying because... Like this... This is over. And I'm crying because... It's sad to think about, like, to think about, like, everything that we've built together just be done. Um, we've done this before. We've separated before. And we came back together thinking that things are going to get better. And they did for a little bit, but it's not really better. And... Like I said, at this point in my life, I feel like I always give the same advice to everybody. I always tell everybody to be selfish with their happiness because at the end of the day, that's all you have is yourself and your happiness. And I feel like I tell everybody the same thing and I don't do that for me. 
and there are certain things about PJ that made me happy, but I wasn't completely happy with with our marriage and I wasn't completely happy with myself and what I was putting myself through and I know he wasn't either. He wasn't happy with me. We just, there were things that we just did not do for each other. So it sucks. Ending anything sucks, you know, like a relationship, a marriage, a friendship, a job, like things suck when you end, when you end them, but it also can lead to new beginnings and beginnings are scary, but they're also, they're, they can also be so awesome and so great. And so I'm ready for a new beginning in my life. I'm ready to focus on myself um, and do things for me. And PJ, PJ is wonderful and PJ is gonna do great things. He's already done so many great things. And he deserves somebody who already has everything figured out, whereas I don't. And that's what he needs. And I'm not that. And for us and our happiness, we have to just move on. So, we are not together. I hope he finds everything he wants just as I find everything that I want. And I hope everybody can respect that. And I hope people will stop being nosy and blowing up my inbox and asking me a bunch of questions about what happened because it's hard to explain. So I'm coming out with this video, hoping that people will kind of like let it go, you know, just let it go. I think it sucks. And I think for a long time I was embarrassed to have to be that girl who, you know, got married so young and is now getting a divorce. But I feel like with the new year, with 2020, like I'm ready to stop living in that state of mind. Because honestly, I could care less what any of y'all have to fucking say to me. I could care less if I'm the girl who is stupid and who got married and now is getting divorced. I could care less if you think that I'm this or I'm that. Because I know what I am. I know what I'm not. And right now, I'm focusing on myself. And so I just hope everybody respects that. I hope people leave me alone. Leave my name out of your mouth, please stop having assumptions of things that I've may or may have not have done because you have no idea honestly you think you know or you think you know from what somebody has told you with that being said I don't know how to even freaking end this video I just wanted to get that out there I wanted to get that off my chest I know that I'm gonna be okay and I know he's going to be okay and I just want to leave it at that so I don't, I don't know how to end this. Bye. I'll see y'all. I'll see y'all in the next video where I'll be probably happier. <laughs> Not so freaking emotional. Thanks for watching. And, you know, prayers, kind words are uh, completely accepted. I will accept those. I will... I will thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate the kind words and the kind thoughts and the, you know, the uplifting. I, a lot of females who have messaged me or who have seen, you know, Twitter have like come to me and told me that I got this and I'm good. And I like, honestly, thank you. Okay. Bye. I can't believe that you're not alone. Happy as hell ain't done moved on